Hello everyone and welcome back to Cosplay. In this video, I'm going to give you a broken sound overview of WAP.io. Before we go ahead and begin today's video, I highly recommend you go ahead and check out their website link down below, as well as our written overview of this entire website. If you're watching this on our written overview in the embedded video player, hit the YouTube icon, head over to our YouTube channel, drop a like, subscribe if you guys are new. We're very close to a thousand subscribers at the time of recording this video. We have a bunch of useful content on our channel as well. So let's go ahead and begin today's video. So one thing to point out, if you guys are intending on following along in this video you need to make sure you have an account and you need to make sure you're logged in once you're logged in your screen should look pretty similar to what i'm looking at right now i am on the buyer view at the moment you can switch to seller view which we will do in the second half of this video so let's go ahead and begin today's video i'm going to begin on the buyer view on the browse bot section so given we're going to be renting these bots let's look through all the bots available there's a total of 33 available so given we're going to be renting these bots let's look at what's available we have 33 bots available you can search for it so let's say for example i'm looking for a specific bot i can go ahead and type in what i'm looking for i can go ahead and filter the bots based on when they're available let's say i need it from the 7th to the 14th so one week it'll go ahead and filter the bots that are available let's give it a moment to go ahead and do that as you guys can see it shows all the bots that are available it's gone down by one so pretty much all of them are available except for one and then you hit the filter option if you want to filter it by sites so i'm going to quickly go ahead and say i want a supreme bot hit apply filter or a bot that supports supreme so let's look through there's 17 now we look through we click when we like and then we move from there so for example let's say i wanted eve i click on eve here and this is what it looks like you have the eve page for eve AIO. you can rent your own copy of eve AIO, which you will get to in a moment and then for rent, we have a few pre-made options here today tomorrow one week and one month obviously this is illustrated in a calendar sense so based on the day you're on today that's how it's going to work so for example today for example it changes the date there for one day tomorrow it changes the day one week changes the day one month it changes in the day if the duration of your rental doesn't fit into these days you can actually custom do it so for example if i wanted to rent it from the fifth to the 20th which is 15 days which isn't a pre-made option it shows how much it would cost so it would cost 45 for 15 days let's say i want it for one day it's five dollars for one day we can go with that if we wish to select a date on a calendar view over here instead of that calendar view you can literally just click it and it works exactly the same and it gets updated there but i'm just gonna go with one day for the purpose of this video and it shows you the last added was 21 days ago and a total asks are available as well then you have some information about the bot such as the compatibility the website ig and twitter and then it shows what it supports eve currently supports footside supreme shopify mesh and off-whites then you have the sales history it has a day ago eve io was rented from the 46247 so obviously the 7th of this month to the 6th of this month for five dollars so if you want to go ahead and look at the prices then you can so i'm going to go ahead and simply rent out this bot i'm going to hit the rent bot button this is going to pop up you have the rental period for one day it shows it there the bot the rental duration the total amount due which is five dollars you have selected a one day rental there are currently less than 12 hours left in today's rental cycle to get a full 24 hours please extend your end date i'm not too bothered about that i'm just going to put it in then i have a promo code that i'm going to enter in here apply promo as you guys can see i get it for free for this promotion i'm going to hit complete purchase and let's give it one moment so as you guys can see it's gone ahead and purchased the bot here so we have the bot the key when it's beginning when it's going to end the status when days are remaining you can download the bot you can get the guide for the bot you can get the video guide for the bot you can request a key reset and you can also view the receipts and this is on the my purchases section so if i click this the past purchases are here it's not in the past at the moment because it's active if we move to active rentals you can see the active rentals and if we were to go out and buy a bot that's upcoming so let's say two days from now it appear here so pretty simple stuff moving over to marketplace which is in beta we can view the bot market so for example let's say i'm looking through a ton of bots let's say cyber aio for example you have the lowest ask which is 8.3k at the moment and the ask quantity which is one ask you can click on the bot and this is what i'm going to see an overview of cyber so you have the lowest ask and the highest bid for both the renewal and the lifetime you can place a bid if you wish i'm not going to go through that in this video but you can also set a sell price if you wish when you click the market sell button you wish to sell at the highest bid at the moment you can do that if you want you can also place an ask if you wish and you can also see some details regarding the market when you hit renewal or lifetime over here 
Then you have the compatibility website, Twitter, Instagram, renewal period, and renewal cost, which is $100 down there. And if you hit this button and go over to my purchases, we've yet to purchase any bots, and we're not gonna do that in this video, but that is what it looks like. It looks very similar to the rental section. Obviously, it shows the pending purchases, completed purchases, and purchases in progress. So three different tabs, and obviously each tab name indicates what process your purchase is at. Then below the switch to seller view, which we will do in the second half of this video, you have the my account section. Now this shows you a lot about your account. You have your full name, username, email address, phone number, and you can click to change your Discord. I have mine linked at the moment. I highly recommend you do the same. So pretty simply, if you want to update any of these details, you simply go ahead and do so and hit save changes. That will go ahead and save the changes you make. Scrolling down below that section, you have a few options. You have the option for dark modes, email notifications, allow for promotional emails, and enable two-factor authentication. Essentially, if you want to enable this, swap it to the right like I have on dark mode. If you want to disable it, make sure it's swapped to the left like it has on these three sections here. If you want to enter a promo code, you can by entering it here and hit apply promo. Earlier in the day, I went ahead and got a promo of code for the selling access to be enabled for the purpose of this video. You can also see your other promo codes that have been available. As you guys can see that uh, the code I used to get the free EVA uh, your rental was also used and it appears here. Moving on to the transactions tab, this shows your credits, withdrawals, and obviously the credit and debits that will appear here as well. There's no transactions that are on this account at the moment, so there's no data here. And moving over to payments, this will show your current balance. Obviously this is dictated based on the income you make from rentals when you're a seller, which we will get into later in this video. And keep in mind it is a minimum $10 to go ahead and withdraw if you wish to do so. So then you have the other section, and this other section is present on the buyer view and the seller view, so I'm gonna go ahead and cover it now. And I won't cover it in the second part of this video. So let's hit release calendar. Pretty self-explanatory. It is the release calendar for releases that take place. So you have sneakers, collectibles, and then the best selling section, which is a combination of the two, just depending on what is the best selling. So let's look at sneakers, for example. You have a release on the April the 4th. You have the image, the name, and the stock X profit spread, which is 290.6%. If you click it, it'll open it up on stock X. And you guys can see that they calculate that percentage based on its retail. You can go ahead and decide whether you like this release or you dislike it by using these emojis and your vote is reflected on the percentages based on the total amount of votes people have done. Then if you scroll down, you can see a bunch of other bots as well, obviously with some negative percentages as well. Same thing for collectibles and the exact same thing for best selling. Moving over to tweets of the week, you can go ahead and shout out WAP.io and get rewarded. You can submit your link to your tweet below and obviously you get prizes. So you submit your tweet URL and then click submit, they'll go ahead and review it and there is a chance of getting prizes. So you can see that this user, you can click to see their tweets and they got $25 in what credits and the end date was March 28th. This user, they went ahead and tweeted out and actually got a WAP hoodie. So obviously it is pretty useful to do so. And you can see this week's entries down here. Moving over to leaderboard. This is the leaderboard when it comes to their platform. You have the top earners, their income is like 3.1K, which is pretty good. You have Gabri for the username, their status is active, and the rental sold is 61. And in terms of the percentage of platform rentals, they currently own 4.81%. Same thing for spenders. Obviously, the total spenders, you got Miles, he is active. He's bought 30 rentals. He spent over 1.1K in rentals. And the percentage of platform rentals is 1.74%. And that goes to him. Below that, you have the highest engages. Again, Miles, again, with the engagement score of 100, rented 30, rented out zero. Then you have the top referrers. You have your total amount spent and sold. So obviously we spent $5 early in this video. That's why that's there. Your purchase progress to leaderboard, mine's 0.69%. And the rental progress to leaderboard is zero because we've yet to rent anything out. If you want to go ahead and join their Discord, if you hit this button, it'll take you to a Discord invite screen. You can go ahead and do that if you wish. You have the refer friends option. So if you want to go ahead and get in your referral codes, they will be given $5 off their first purchase and you will receive $5 of withdrawable credit after their first rental. You can also share this on Twitter if you wish. Then you can send money, which is a pretty unique feature here. It's based on your available balance. So let's say I go ahead and make $100 from rentals I can go ahead and type in the amounts here. So let's say $100, for example. 
and then I can type in the friend's username. So my name on this platform is Kasim. Let's say I knew Miles, for example. I go ahead and type in his username, I send him the $100, and that $100 is added to his balance. So a pretty easy way of paying people or sending people money if you want to. You do also have the option of sending your entire balance as well. Finally, you have the change log. This is the change logs when it comes to the platform. As you guys can see, they do a lot of changes if you wish to go ahead and check that out. But let's go back to the platform here. Now let's move over to the seller view because we have a few things to go ahead and go through. So let's click seller dashboard. It's going to take us here. You have the active listings, the April sales, obviously I haven't sold anything, lifetime sales and key sold. Then you have the sales section here. Obviously there's nothing here because we haven't made any sales. Then you have the top selling bots, which is EVIO. We literally bought that nine minutes ago. So Stella on Polaris. Obviously this is subject to change based on the people that buy rentals, etc. But that's the current order. If you go to browse bots, we can once again, browse bots as you guys can see because of the fact i'm on the seller view i'm going to show you guys how you can actually go ahead and rent out your bot here so let's say i want to go ahead and rent out cybersoul and click on the cybersoul icon here it looks pretty similar to the renting section we saw but rent your own copy of cybersoul you hit this button you go ahead and select the bot you type in the license key i'm just going to type in a random one for this video i hit continue and then i submit it for review. If they approve your listing, obviously it'll go through, then you can go ahead and rent your CyberSell. On this page, you can also view the bot, the key that you submitted, the status of it, which is unlisted at the moment, the actions is waiting for approval, it's number one in queue. You can also edit the key and delete the key from your accounts and it goes into the need approval section. Then obviously you have the reset required section, key is ready to be listed, and the listed section. So this part of the video has been recorded the next day just because I had to make sure this key got approved to the post of this video. As you guys can see and you guys saw previous in the video, this key isn't real, obviously it's just a bunch of X's, but it was on the needs approval section, now it's on keys ready to be listed. So we have the bot, the key, the status, which is currently unlisted, which is why it's on this section. And then the actions are to list the bot, edit the key and delete key from the account. If you hit list the bot, it's going to ask you to select the bot you want to list from below. So obviously this is showing you that you can have multiple bots ready to be listed at one time. I only have one bot ready, so I'm gonna click cyber. So I'm going to continue and now I'm gonna to go to step two. Step two is to input a baseline daily price for all of the above bots. So essentially I only want to list cyber. So, so for example, if I wanted to rent it out for $15 a day, I'd put that in. And then you can see some data regarding this bot as well. So the lowest daily ask at the moment is $30. The average daily ask is $35.59 and the number of asks is 42. And then you can see the lowest asks for today as well. And then when it comes to your bot, you essentially need to set its availability. So let's say for example, you want to rent it out on all days and you don't plan on touching it for a few months or something like that. So you can gain some income. Essentially, you can make all dates unavailable or available. By default, I'm just gonna set it to all available because I want to rent this out all the time as much as I can to make the most money. So as you guys can see, when people go to rent out a cyber, so there is a chance that they'll rent out mine on any of these days. And then obviously I'll make that money from the rental. If I hit continue again, you guys are going to see the weekly discount recommendation, the monthly discount recommendation, as well as the weekly discount and the monthly. Obviously these are recommendations at the top this is where you actually go ahead and configure it. If you're not interested in doing any discounts, then obviously don't do any. I'm just gonna put in zero and zero here. So obviously it is recommended that you do uh, discounts when it comes to buying weekly and monthly, but you don't have to. And then you have some pricing examples down here. And it also tells me my seller fees as well. And then when it comes to this section, this is essentially a cutoff point. Now, essentially what this means is, let's say in the previous page on step two, I said that it's always available for the foreseeable future. I haven't actually set off when I want it to end. This is essentially what that is going to be. If I hit yes, I can go ahead and configure when I want the cutoff date to be. So let's say for example, I go on vacation for two months and today is April 5th and I come back on June 5th for a release. I can hit June 5th and my cough date can be that. So essentially I can rent out the bot for all of that time and the cutoff point for the rental will be the date I specified there. If you're not interested in that, then obviously hit no, but that option is available to you. Then once you're done, go ahead and hit the list for sale button and that will put up the rental for sale. You can also sell bots on this section and you can view all your sales by going to my sales. You can view your past sales, active sales, and upcoming sales as well. And obviously it'll be in this section. Moving over to marketplace. Once again, you can view the bot markets 
if you hit on this once again it looks exactly the same as it does before you can sell a bot if you wish so you select an option here if you have light time cyber renewal cyber let's say i have renewal cyber you go ahead and configure this you uh, obviously configure the next renewal date because this is valuable information when purchasing a bot you input your ask and then uh, obviously it configures this information here and you can go ahead and place your ask. Then if you go to the My Sales section, once again, it shows the sales that's pending, because obviously they need to approve it, the sales in progress, and the completed sales. And then you have My Purchases. Obviously, you can view your purchases if you wish to purchase a bot on this platform in the Pending Purchases section, Purchase in Progress, and the completed purchases. So that is going to go ahead and conclude this broken down of your VOP IO. I highly recommend you go ahead and check out their platform if you wish to buy, sell, rent bots out or even buy rentals i highly recommend you go ahead and do so and check out a recent overview linked down below as well and don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you guys are new